Hello everyone, welcome back to COS and Educational Services channel. Today I am here to guide you step by step through uploading practical marks on the CBSE Pariksha Sangam portal. Whether you are a teacher, examiner or IT support staff, this video will make the entire process super simple and hassle free. So let's get started. Before diving into the online portal, make sure you have gathered all the necessary data. Here's your quick checklist. Step 1. Preparing your data. Exam functionaries details, name, bank account number and IFSC code. Geotag photos. Ensure you have taken clear geotag images of the MT lab, students during practical activities and a group picture. Final marks. Have the evaluated marks ready for each student in their respective practical subjects. Got all that? Great. Let's move on. Step number two. Opening the marks upload portal. Now open your web browser and head to the official CBSE website. From there, navigate to the Pariksha Sangam portal. Select the tab for class 12 practical or internal assessment marks upload. Now let's move on. Step three. Logging into the CBSE portal. Next, log in using your LOC credentials. Enter your username and password, then click login. Once inside, go to the practical or internal assessment section. This is where the magic begins. Next, we'll dive into step four, entering exam functionaries details. First, select the functionaries menu, enter the details of the examiner's name, account number and IFSE code. Once everything is in, double check for errors. If needed, use the edit or delete option to make corrections. Done. Let's move on step 5. Creating a batch in the activities menu. Now head to the activities menu and start with step 1, create batch. Here's now. First, choose the subject type, internal or external. For example, languages and mathematics fall under internal while subjects like physics and chemistry are external. Second, enter internal examiner details. Type their full name and OASIS ID. Third, enter external examiner details. Provide the school code, name and examiner number from the CBSE allotment letter. Four, note down the batch ID generated for future step. That's it, your batch is ready. After complete this step, We'll move to step number six, uploading the marks. Now comes the crucial part, entering the marks. Once the practical marks are evaluated, input each student's mark into the portal. Verify everything carefully before hitting submit to finalize the data. Accuracy is key here, so double check. Now let's move on to step number seven, printing the award list. After submitting the marks, print the award list. Both the internal and external examiners along with the school principal need to sign this document. Once signed, scan it to prepare for the next step. Next, we'll dive into step number eight, uploading the award list. Using the batch ID and examiner name, upload the scan award list to the portal. And just like that, we are almost done. Next, we'll dive into step number nine, uploading laboratory images. Now, upload the three geotag images. First, the empty lab. Second, students during the practical activity. Third, the group photo. Remember, each image should be under 3 MB or the system won't accept them. After completed these steps, step number 10, that is final status check. Finally, check the status of your submission using the batch ID. Once you are confident all steps are complete, take a printout of the status page for your records. Don't forget to log out for security. And that's it. You have successfully completed the entire process. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow educators and subscribe for more guides like this. Thanks for watching.